Elizabeth and Andre's drama on 90 Day Fiance is totally fake. What is up everyone? Max here, the Celeb Talk Guy, and in this video we have so much 90 Day Fiance stuff to talk about, which I will get into in a couple of seconds, but first I want to start off with Elizabeth and Andre and their completely fake drama. Now we all know, on the show they fight like crazy, but one of you amazing subscribers a few days ago messaged me that Elizabeth has another career. Now we do all kind of know that she supposedly works as somewhat of a realtor for her dad's weird, you know, bizarre company that I will get into more in a couple of seconds. But did any of you guys know that Elizabeth is also an actress? I did not know that. I honestly had absolutely no idea. But if you search her name, it comes up, boom, right there, that she is an actress. And not only is she a 90 Day Fiance actress, she has been in actual movies. And in 2019, she was in a movie called Be Still and No. And I am going to to put a link below of the trailer because I am telling you guys, I watched the trailer and an FYI, this movie is ranked 3.8, I think out of 10 on Rotten Tomatoes. And like I was saying, I watched the trailer and holy crap, it was so bad. So cheesy, so hilarious. But the funny thing that I did notice is that the drama and suspense and all the crap that Elizabeth was acting in in this movie, it was just like how she acts on the show. Which is exactly why I am taking my stance and saying, right now that the drama we see on the show with Elizabeth and her brother and Andre and the dad is completely 100% Fake. Now, no, I can't say for 100% that the drama is fake, but I'm telling you guys, watch that trailer for the movie below. I'll put a link below or above this video. Watch the trailer and you guys will agree that her acting on that movie of all the drama and suspense in the trailer is exactly like how she acts on the show. So clearly she has to be acting on the show with all that BS drama. And if she's actually trying to pursue an acting career, which I had no idea, that gives her an even more of a reason to be dramatic and annoying on 90 Day Fiance. In the last episode, we saw a big blowout fight with Elizabeth's brother and Andre, and I am not buying it, but put in the comments below, I think it's fake, but I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of all of this drama? And like I said, we have so much more 90 Day Fiance stuff to talk about. Now let's fast forward over to Ariella and Biniam from the new season of 90 Day Fiance The Other Way. Now this is kind of a spoiler alert on Ariella and Biniam. So if you guys don't want to know this spoiler alert, Please, please, please do not keep watching. Even though I don't know how many people actually give a crap about these two, but let me just say it. So spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. The spoiler is that we are 99.99999% confident thanks to 90 Day Disaster on Instagram. So thank you, 90 Day Disaster, that Ariella is still in Ethiopia. And you're probably wondering, well, what kind of proof do we have? So once again, thank you, 90 Day Disaster. She found this post by Ariella mom, yes, the same mom that is on 90 Day Fiance that is a little bit naggy. She found her when she posted this right there on Instagram saying, missing you, and it's a picture of Ariella, and she said, hashtag 90 Day Fiance, hashtag Ethiopia, hashtag amazing daughter, blah, 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 and the post was done on July 14th of 2020. Now, of course, the critics could say, well, it could just be saying that she misses her, maybe they aren't together right now, blah, 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 I'm not buying it. Ariella and Biniam, I am like 99, not 100, but I'm like 99.9% .9 confident that she is still there. If she says that she is missing her, come on, you guys. Ariella has to still be in Ethiopia. So not 100%, but I'm pretty confident. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think on the likely scenario that Ariella is still in Ethiopia? Are you guys surprised? My take on it is I am kind of surprised. I thought that her mom would be able to persuade her just to come back to have the baby in the state and then maybe go back to Ethiopia. That's what I thought was going to go down, but that does not seem to be what happened. And really, really, really quick, I need to interrupt and say that I did release another podcast episode. It is up on the Apple Podcast Network, so I'm going to put a link below or above this video. Check it out if you want to see the podcast. It's on Paul and Karini and Love After Lockup and some other good reality TV. So above or below this video, check it out. Okay, moving forward with Kenneth and Armando, also from 90 Day Fiance, the other way. They are the amazing happy couple. Well, Kenneth posted a very sad 
and just, you know, it's a bummer. He posted a very horrible post on social media that 90 Day Fiance just like licensed their show the other way in Russia, which is great. That's fantastic. That's amazing. But in Russia, they cut out Kenneth and Armando. And you're probably wondering why. And according to the post that Kenneth did, he just said that in Russia, they're not very approving of same sex relationships. So because of that, they don't, they aren't for it. They're really against it. They cut them out. And it's a bummer. It's sad. It just, I mean, it breaks, it honestly, legitimately breaks my heart. I'm almost confident they're still together. And when I read that, it, it sucks. Honestly, I don't know why TLC was willing to work with them if they knew that their Kenneth and Armando would get cut out. No, I get it, business is business, but still, I mean, it's like, you gotta be fair. Kenneth and Armando are great, they're good entertainment, and it's just really unfortunate to hear. But let's fast forward to something else with 90 Day Fiance that's a little bit more cheerful. I don't wanna make anyone too sad with the Kenneth and Armando stuff, even though that is a bummer, but let's fast forward to some stuff going on with Larissa and Eric, and remember Eric's friend, Natalie? Okay, well this Natalie person, and I use air quotes because her name on social media is like Coco something. So I don't know why she went by Natalie on 90 Day Fiance. If 90 Day Fiance just gave her a fake name or if she didn't want to go by her real name, I have no idea. But on social media, her name is Coco. And for some reason, she is going off. I don't know if you guys are seeing these, but she is exposing everything that went down with her and Eric and her and Larissa. She has messages after messages going on and on and on. She even has voice messages with her and Larissa just going off on Eric. But before I share all of these messages, we have to give a huge shout out to 90 Day The Melanated Way because they are sharing all of this stuff. They're on Instagram. I'm going to put a link above or below this video. Seriously, you guys, I am telling you, if you are on Instagram, Instagram and you don't give them a follow, give them a follow. They are the real deal. They post stuff regularly with 90 Day Fiance that is very juicy, very good stuff. So give them the follow above or below this video. Honestly guys, I don't know why this Coco or Natalie person is so upset. I cannot figure it out, but she is just mad at Eric, and I think, honestly, she's really upset with Larissa, too. She posted this, number one, saying, guys, for the next two weeks, you'll be getting screenshots like a blank. I'm done with these little blanked little boys and Michael Jackson delusional looking blank. Legit was trying to protect another woman, but I'm done, so enjoy. So I can only imagine that, that the little boy is Eric and that the Michael Jackson looking person is Larissa. Now, why is she so upset? God only knows. I hate to go there, but she might just kind of be, I don't know, you know, searching and fishing, I should say, for some fame because she did also post that interviews are free and welcomed. I got receipts, I don't know of what, hit me up. So clearly she is willing and really wanting to share this info. And like I said, she is extremely upset. In one post she said, I'm done protecting an idiot like dumb Rissa. Obviously Larissa, dumb, you get the two. I don't know why she is so mad at Larissa though. Maybe because Larissa is now dating Eric again, which if she is, who gives a crap? It's nothing to do with this Natalie person. So this is like a seven or eight part screenshot series of everything that she shared. I will try to go by each series really quick to to keep it kind of a faster video, but there's a lot going on. In the first series that she shared, it is about how Larissa actually broke up with Eric because her friends were saying that Eric is using you for your money. Now, I have no idea what money, if it's from Cameo or from 90 Day Fiance, or I've even heard some rumors that she gets money from her dad in Brazil, so maybe that's where she gets her money. That was her first comment. I mean, she just went on and on. The third series was just basically Larissa Larissa going off again. Okay, then the fourth series is kind of the same thing, just them going at it. And it's not, at first, it's, it's Larissa just complaining and nagging about Eric and every little detail. And it's this Coco Natalie person kind of just supporting her, I guess. Okay, then the fifth series, or the series, whatever, is Larissa crying in a voice message to this Natalie Coco person about how Eric was saying he never talked bad to you, to Colt, and that kind of stuff. 
nothing very interesting. And like I said, they go on and on and on. And in one of these messages, I cannot find them because this Coco person has probably shared like a hundred different messages. But in one of the messages that I read, Larissa and this Coco person were talking about how Eric said that he quit his job to pursue becoming a reality TV star because he had about two seconds of fame on 90 Day Fiance, practically just being an extra. So obviously we now know Eric's complete whole, you know, 100% intentions was just to go on the show, just become famous. That's all the guy was shooting for. And before I sign off for the day, one quick last thing is I want to show you guys a hilariously shocking picture. For those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it, but check out that throwback picture of Darcy and Stacy. My jaw drop to the floor. They look so different. I mean, it just shows you what happens after you dye your hair and get a bunch of Botox, I guess, because they just don't even look like they're even the same person. Man, do they look different. And also, real quick, a lot of you guys have been asking me if I have any updates on the whole Paul and Pierre and Karini situation. Honestly, not much besides the fact that there is another YouTuber named Your Wet Socks. I think that's his name. I got to give the guy credit. He's actually actually really funny. I've seen a couple of his videos and the guy is bizarre, but he is honestly like really funny. He's, he's actually pretty good. I do like his videos. You should definitely check him out. And he bought cameos from all of these people on 90 Day Fiance, Paul being one of them. Most of the cameos like from Colt and Larissa, they were boring. They were dull, nothing too good, but he did get one from Paul and the one from Paul was just long. It went on and on and on. Paul was ranting and Paul did say, I believe that he will have an update, I think on like August 11th or 12th, something like that. So maybe on the 11th or 12th, we have more info. We'll know what's going on. But besides that little info that he got from his cameo, I have no idea what is going on. I don't know where Karini is. I don't know what Paul is doing. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if she has left the country or if she's still here. I have no idea. But put in the comments below what you guys think. I know I talked about a lot of stuff today. So much going on with all that crap with Eric and Larissa and that Natalie girl. I cannot figure out why this Natalie or Coco lady is just so mad. I can't figure it out. But that is kind of hilarious and odd. And she doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon with posting these screenshots. And Ariella and Benny, I'm the spoiler that I leaked earlier. I'm not going to say it again just in case anyone did fast for it because I don't want to you know, ruin the show for anyone, but the spoiler, pretty crazy stuff. And Elizabeth and Andre and the dad and the brother, eh, I am done. And after I saw that she is actually an actress, I'm not surprised one bit because everything she does on the show just seems like fake drama, which I like real. I'm not into that kind of stuff. I like to see real relationships, real couples. And I think Andre and Elizabeth are a real couple. I just think that every speck of drama that happens on their segments is completely, totally, 100% fake. But that is just my opinion, not saying that is for sure the case. So comment below your thoughts. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the comment button. Well, don't hit the comment. Well, <laughs> Make sure to also comment below and then hit the comment button, hit the subscribe button. And like I said earlier, make sure to check out my new podcast episode. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching and stay tuned for many more videos.